Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So in this video what I am planning on doing is not looking like this first of all and also it's like I'm gonna do like a Fenty Beauty thing. So basically today the Rihanna Navy is um, having a streaming party of the album Anti or Anti, I think I'm pretty sure it's Anti by now and everyone's patiently waiting for the NAND album so we've decided to basically have like a streaming party on every single streaming platform there is so yeah also they have just announced the one year anniversary like collection if you will so I'm excited for that, like super excited. So without further ado, let's just dive straight into it and do something. So first of all, I'm just gonna tie my hair up. So I've just got my hair out of, of the way. So you won't be able to actually tell, but I have rearranged my beauty room. So like I've rearranged it because I really want to like stop using back, well not stop using backdrops, but like use them less that's the tea on that i've already like primed my skin earlier as you all know i do have really crap shitty skin and um, most of it is acne scars so this is a fresh spot this is a fresh spot uh, and this one is a fresh spot so i am working on it i'm trying everything i can to like like i don't really have breakouts so much anymore like I do on a dirt and also my texture on my skin is like amazing because everything I've seen to be using for that is doing its job. I don't have any texture. Well I say I do but when I feel it it doesn't feel as though I do. Um so yeah it's literally just my acne scars and a bit of my redness. So I've already like moisturised my face, so I'm just going to spritz my face just to get a little bit more of moisture. I moisturised my face earlier, so hopefully it's still moisturised. And this is just the Iconic London Prep Set and Glow, which I've kind of, kind of don't like anymore. So if I'm looking down here, it's because this is where my mirror is and I don't have my TV screen thing anymore to like look like to the side because it's like in a totally different direction and that's pretty much the only reason. So I, I haven't done a video in a while and I feel like I should like talk as well as getting ready but I'm just going to go in with some pore fashion by Benefit to hide these pores and I'm just going to beauty blender it in. So I'm just taking the um, Profil Air Primer and I like to take three pumps of this. Most people only take two. Um, I like to take three because I like to do my whole entire face so just putting it where I have the most pores and then just spreading it out wherever and then I'm pretty sure this is clean but I'm just taking like any brush you want really and I'm just gonna like put that into the skin I really want the um, one that Rihanna came out with but I'm just like I just feel as I'm constantly broke all the time. So I'd really like to be in beauty blendering things in rather than rubbing things in with my fingers just because it like when you rub things in I feel as it creates micro what is it micro exfoliation so you, your foundation doesn't go on as smooth. So next I'm just gonna go in with a little bit of this um green colour corrector and just put this on to where I feel as a, I am the most red with the spots. I'm not, usually I do put it all over my face, but I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna put it like where I am really, really, really red. And I kind of feel as though this does work, but then I kind of feel as it doesn't. Um, but yeah, I've also been like minimizing what products I use, um, just because I feel as though I've been having so much stuff on my face that maybe my makeup hasn't been as good as it sh could be. I've put way too much on. So just taking my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pause Powder and pushing that into my pores because I feel it really has been like minimizing my pores and keeping me matte a little bit round this area. So now I'm gonna go in with foundation and I'm obviously using the Fenty Beauty foundation and this is in the shade 150 which to me is like my perfect shade 
ever. So yeah, and I like to take about four pumps of that. It's a little bit too much, but it's perfect. So and I love to do like when I have like full coverage foundations, I love to like test them because it's like I need full coverage. I don't necessarily like full coverage because it's like I liked. I like some of my skin to peek through, um, but when you see all these people that got a perfect skin in the like, oh well, this here is full coverage, or then they go, oh it's medium to full, it's like, you haven't got no flaws, it's clearly full coverage because you don't have a, like, a big giant spot, so there's that. Another thing, this sponge is the Morphe Flawless Sponge, and it's the best sponge I have like used ever. I previously used the Real Techniques one and I changed to this because Jeffree Star like said about how good the Morphe ones is and oh my god, stunning. So that's the foundation looking pretty lush, it's not like amazing coverage but it's covered up like pretty much what I want it to cover, like I feel confident going out like this. Um, so I'm just going to hydrate my lips because I forgot to do it at the beginning with the gloss bomb and have you seen that they're coming out with a new one? I think it's Diamond something. Oh my god. It's basically like a white white version of this and it looks stunning. I really like do putting this on because it's so hydrating. So next up concealer. This is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Fan and this is in the shade C3. It's the wrong one. So I'm taking the shade C1 and I actually always forget to colour correct my eyes because they are so like dark circled <laughs> and I know in my last video I said that I don't like to bring it out here um, but I've actually changed my method again just because I think the concealer that I used last time was actually too dark and that's why I was going a little bit yellow under my eye chin, nose and a little bit on my forehead so now I'm just gonna blend this in and I'll be right back. Okay so that's blended out really nicely, it looks really light underneath my eyes but it's fine because the powder kind of brings it down a notch. So I'm just using the Too Faced Born This Way powder, this is the powder that I've been gravitating to the most and then I'm just gonna set my face. Okay, so I am all set, my base is somewhat done. So I'm just gonna go off camera, do my brows and contour, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I've just done the rest of my face, apart from my highlight. Um, I can't really see like what it looks like apart from in a mirror, so hopefully it looks somewhat decent. So I've gone ahead and primed my eyes and set it with a bit of powder and we're going to be diving into the Moroccan Spice palette today and maybe the um, Galaxy palette, I'm not sure but I know what look I want to do. So I'm basically theming it off of the album Anti. I was going to do like a pink theme but then because of like the whole streaming party I thought I've got a white background and do like a reddish I don't know we're just gonna do it so I'm thinking of doing like a red a like a red gold eye and I'm gonna be mainly working with the shade saffron and like the gold shades so usually I would go in with oh, let me I can't remember the shade with the shade desert baked which is this little pink color here as like a transition shade but I'm actually gonna go in with saffron first and just see where we go because I, I kind of I always do like bl like deep looks so I think I just really want like a really blown out look with the lid to be like somewhat of the center of attention so we're just gonna go for it and see what happens and I'll probably end up doing the whole of my face again. So just taking saffron onto a regular brush and we're just gonna put this all over the eye. Now I'm really gonna pack this colour into the crease and then I'm gonna like smoke it out a little bit and um, just because I want it to be like the main, one of the main focuses. So I'm just like gonna try and pack it on as much as I can and go from there. So I'm just gonna blend this out a little bit here. It's already kind of somewhat done it 
for me. But I'm just going to blend what we have so far here. And then taking a small brush, I'm going in with the same shade. And I'm just going to really like pack this, like tuck it right in there. Just to get like the colour built up. So I am focusing on the um, this palette, but I might dive into the um, blood, blood sugar palette by Jeffree Star because it has a few reds in there as well that I really want to use and I just really want to focus on like the red and gold but I am going to be using this obviously as I am now but I just want a few colours out of that palette I'm not sure yet I, I might not even bother I might just stick to with this palette but we'll see so once I've got that colour really packed in there I'm going to go in with this brush again and I'm just going to blend this a little bit so I'm going to go in with a clean brush and uh, try and blend it a little bit further so I'm just going to take a teeny bit of desert bit and I'm just going to run it through this bit here just to see if I can smooth it a little bit. Okay, so I don't know if it's the light in. Um, I know this palette is sick as fuck, so it's not the palette, but I feel as though there's like a harsh line here that I'm trying to blend out, but it's not blending out, but I'm not sure if it's just the light in. I think it's just the light in, but I'm not sure. Okay guys, so I am gonna dip into the blood sugar palette, because as you can see, like look at them red. And I'm just going to take a teeny bit of Cherry Soda that I use, and with the same brush that I used Saffron with. And I'm just going to run this through the crease and kind of like pack it on and build it. Like look at that, it just makes such a difference. Like I just really want that like a red in there, so this is why I'm going into this palette. I'm then taking a cleanish brush, I'm just going to blend this through. So grabbing an even small brush, I'm going to be taking saffron underneath the eye. And then with an even small brush, I'm going to go back into the blood sugar palette and I'm going to take the shade Prick, which is this really lush, vibrant red. I'm just going to put this like through there as well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my favourite shade from the blood sugar palette, which is blood sugar. It's literally my favourite shade ever from this palette and I'm gonna put that on top of it because I want like a metallic finish over the top of this bottom lash line. Like look at that, oh uh, my god, it's just like, it's the best shade in the palette. So just wiping the excess off of this brush that I used saffron with on my bottom lash line. Just gonna take a little bit, I keep forgetting the shades. Just gonna take a teeny bit of desert bit. And I'm just going to run this right underneath just to like have like a really nice blown out blend. Like it's just so nice and it really like blends everything. I've got an obsession with doing this lately, just putting like a, a lighter shade underneath it and it just looks so beautiful. Okay, so I'm not really happy with this bit here. So I'm just going to take a little bit of saffron, dust whatever I can off and just brush it through a little bit. And then taking a clean brush, I'm just going to ever so slightly brush up here just to like get rid of any harshness that I'm seeing because it's annoying me. So now I'm taking a different brush and I'm taking the shade Moroccan Ice and this is just going to be my brow highlight colour. So I'm just going to um, go off camera, do the other eye and cut my crease and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so before I cut this side of my crease, I really want to do this side first just to see what it looks like and plus I don't even know if my eyes match. Uh, but there's so many girls to choose from and I was gonna, like there's so many girls to choose from in this palette and I was gonna go in with Trophy Wife because um, it's such amazing but I really love these girls that are in here. So I think I'm gonna go in with with this shade which is Marrakush and I think the first time I used this I literally lost my shit. As usual I'm going to use my finger at first and then like go in with a brush and define it because I just, fingers are just amazing. So here we go. Like look at that, oh my god it's so amazing. The first time I swatched this literally 
my, I, I, I couldn't even breathe. So I just like to put this everywhere that I can. And then, and then I like to go in with like a little definer brush kind of thing. And with this, just getting like all the places that I can't actually get with my finger. And the good thing about this palette is, it's the shimmers are just so amazing that you don't even need to spray them with like any fix plus or whatever because they're already like seriously reflective as fuck so what i am gonna do is i'm gonna take trophy wife and i was gonna do like a little bit of a liner going across but what i'm actually gonna do is i'm gonna put this on top of it just to give it a little bit more of like a sparkling dimension all right so now that's done i need to i need to blend this part here. So for that, I'm gonna take a little bit of um, saffron and I'm just gonna try and blend it out a little bit. In fact, I'm mixing the shade Cherry, Cherry Soda from the Jeffree Star palette and I'm mixing it with saffron and I'm just gonna blend this in a bit. Okay, so I think that's as blended as I'm gonna get it. So yeah, I probably should have done a whole cut crease but I just did a half one. And yeah. So for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to be going in with the shade Moroccan Ice again with like a little pencil brush. And just coating the brush with that, I'm just going to place it on my inner corner. And then on top of that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of trophy wipe as well. Okay, so I'm going to go away, put some lashes on, do the other eye, sort myself out and I'll be right back. All right guys, so I'm back. I have put some lashes on, uh, put a lip on. If my lips look a little bit crazy, it's because I had a bit of a to-do with them. So I originally went in with a red lipstick, but then it, red lipstick is so fucking hard and I hate lipstick anyway. I prefer like liquid lipstick. So I rubbed it off, put a bit of foundation on top of it, and then I went in with the Kylie Jenner Malibu, which is my all time favorite lip kit by her so yeah and these lashes if you really want to know are dodo lashes in the style let me have a look so these lashes are in the style d316 and these are the closest to um lily lash miami that i could find and these were only like ten dollars twelve dollars something like that and with code adam ashman you can save yourself some coinage if you want to. Yeah, Dodo lashes are like literally amazing. I, I'm obsessed with the lashes. And also I want to mention this glue, Jolie Beauty glue is absolutely sickening. It's so good, smells amazing, goes, it, the, the stick to your eyes is amazing. So this is the Jolie Beauty Lash Lock and this is 6 dollars I believe. And I've used it so many times and I still, I'm not even anywhere near to the bottom or anything. So that's 6 dollars on Jolie Beauty. And if you want to use my code, you can. I'll leave it down below, but yeah. So yeah, I've gone ahead and somewhat finished and even done my hair. So next up, I'm gonna Go in with highlight, and this is the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt highlight, and I'm gonna be using Fire Crystal Ops because that's the most like glitterific sad. So just taking my Jolly Beauty brush, and here we go. So I'm just gonna spritz myself with this Hylomonic um, spray, and we're done. All right, guys. So this is the finished look. I absolutely like it uh yeah it's somewhat different from for me because usually i do like my deeper things so i like I'll, I'll have a crease i'll have a outer corner this and i'll i'll really go in um but i feel like i always do that so i just wanted to do like a blown outlook still with the crease like half crease and um, i love doing a full crease cut but my eyes are just so hooded that i can't like have that look but i might try it i'm willing to try it so yeah i've got a week of work soon so i'm willing to get down and dirty but yeah i'm sorry this video like has been up so late i think my last post was like two weeks ago but i do try and do it when i can uh, so yeah as you can tell like you wouldn't like you 
can hardly see my like acne now, you'd never really know. And yeah, my lashes I love. And this was the anti Rihanna party look, like streaming look. So yeah, um, I've, I hope you've enjoyed it. I've enjoyed creating it. I love Rihanna, everyone knows that by now. And yeah, I think that, that's pretty much it. This concludes the video. So if you have liked it, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hopefully see you in my next video. And hopefully it won't be too, too long to wait. So yeah, thanks for watching.